Hi everybody, welcome back to my corner of YouTube. Um, today I thought we'd do two paintings as I try to figure out raindrops. Yeah, come along, it'll be a fun experience, I think. So I initially kind of got pretty obsessed with drawing raindrops because I just think it's cool. I think they're they're really beautiful and it's really fun to capture that through paint um, or through wash rather. So, uh, so anyway, so the first painting is kind of inspired by um, James Gurley. He's this like awesome gouache artist here on YouTube. Please follow him, show him some love. Uh, but anyway, he was kind of in his uh, car and of course James really is super talented <laughs> and he did this painting in four minutes flat while filming in a car. So <laughs> wild. Uh, of course, it mine took way longer and wasn't nearly as awesome, but you know, it's all a learning experience here and, and yeah, yeah, I'm just documenting it. That's all. So anyway, the idea was to kind of get the raindrops on like a rainy day while you're driving in the car. So I definitely wanted to capture the windshield and kind of the foggy, moody atmosphere uh, that you look out on um, the road. So I started off and, you know, hindsight 2020, I definitely think... I should have blended. I should have blended a lot more. Uh, but for the first time painting raindrops, I thought it wasn't completely horrible. Uh, a lot of my friends think that it's not rain and it's snow. Uh, tell me what you guys think, actually. Uh, yeah, definitely. Please comment. Tell me what you think uh, about all of the all the things. Tell me. Tell me how you interpret my paintings, please. Um, all of my friends have had like very different things to say about it. <laughs> uh, yes. So coming back to this whole idea of this moody, uh, foggy drive and me capturing the windshield as the rain kind of comes down, uh, it was just very interesting. And I don't know, I, I think it could have been better, especially if I blended things out and maybe layered it, uh, slightly. Uh, however, it's, I think it still gets the point across, you know? Uh, my favorite part about this entire painting is that there's this random lamppost on the left there. And, oh, I guess, I guess two favorite things. My car looks like a boombox. I, I kind of think that makes it cooler, but, uh, definitely losing points for the realism factor here. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely thought that it looked like a little Lego car, but really, it's a boombox. Just in the middle of the road there, no big deal. It's all good. Uh, I really love my work on the, on the windshield wiper. I thought that was really top-notch stuff, but the lamppost is what, like, really gets me, you know? <laughs> like, it's just so random and, like, in the middle of the road. So, uh, anyway... You kind of see me making that arch where the windshield wiper would be like going kind of uh, in my feeble attempt to kind of capture it as I proceed to draw the raindrops. Uh, surprisingly, uh, the raindrops were not the hardest part. Uh, yes, they could also use some work. I'm not quite, I wouldn't say I have mastered them yet, but they're they're definitely the easier part uh like i think the blending of the background needed a lot more attention and a lot more work uh which which i didn't realize initially at all <laughs> um but the raindrops it's very it's you you mix a little bit of white a little mid-tone like a gray of some sort and then i kind of go, go go back over it with like a black outline of sorts um I do, however, in this painting, didn't vary my raindrop size, uh, which could be why a lot of my friends thought that this was snow. Um, I guess not wrong, really. It's just different is all. Um, but it's just little things like that, you know.
Yeah, so definitely like going forward, um, I think I could blend the background a whole lot better and varying the size and the shape of the raindrops would kind of help a lot as well. Um, but overall, I'm very pleased with my first attempt at raindrops um, through a car, so I thought that was really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think it kind of turned out pretty well um, overall, given that it was my first attempt for sure. Then I kind of uh, ordered these postcards um, to kind of, the idea was to mail these out around the holiday season and of course here we are in the new year and I haven't mailed out a single one. So anyway, this is my second attempt, hopefully a better one at, you guessed it, raindrops. <laughs> so this time uh, I, I actually took a lot of inspiration from uh, Tina's Diary. Uh, it's a channel here on YouTube and she is amazing. I think uh, she's a super talented uh, creator for sure. Um, and I kind of, I'll put the, I'll put the photo of her piece uh, here somewhere to suggest so that like you guys can kind of understand what the reference image is that I'm working off of. But yeah, so I kind of like how she blended her background a lot more. And anyway, mine was like a, I don't know, a very feeble yet humble impre impression of what she did. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, there's many interpretations right now out in the world, from my friends especially. Um, some people think that the buildings doesn't look really like a city, but more like tombstones to each their own. Uh, one of my friends believes the raindrops to be hearts. Really, it's all about perspective, guys. And my perspective is, is that if you made it this far, I think you should like and subscribe because, you know, that's just, that's just a kind thing to do, all right? Just be a kind human. Like and subscribe. Thank you. 
really appreciate it. And if you don't mind, um, while you're checking out my super dirty watercolor water here, um, maybe comment, you know, tell me what you see in my paintings. And yeah, I'm gonna leave you here with some music in the background to enjoy the painting. All right, enjoy. Yeah, so there you have it. Um, I think the second one turned out a lot better. Uh, I still think the blending could use a lot more work. Um, and I think I, I just need to get better with like the layering of everything. But you know, it's all part of the learning process. And, and I really hope that you guys got something out of this as well. And so here they are side by side. Um, to kind of show like the amount of progress that I made between the two. Uh, I think you can kind of see it really really well. Uh, the raindrops are more irregularly sized and shaped in the second one and the background's a little bit better blended. Uh, however, I think it all could use a lot more work. Uh, so anyway, with that, uh, thank you for being here uh, and I'll see you next time.